Hello and welcome to the Eco Park Stadium for the Development Red versus Development Blue. I'm delighted to be joined in the commentary box by Will Biggs. Will, welcome. Thanks very much, Mark. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this game. It's going to be a competitive fixture. The rain stopped and uh, the lads look like they're up for it. There's a couple of players I'm looking forward to seeing today. Um, it's a, a match-up in goal. The, the Row brothers, we've got Aaron, um, who's a, an experienced third year with us now. Studying on the BTEC level three. And we've got Ryan Rowe um, in the other goal, uh, one of our level two students as well. So, yeah, it could be uh, an awkward ride home if it's, it's not a nil-nil. Absolutely. And thankfully, they live quite quite close uh, to the Eagle Park Stadium, but certainly there will be banter thrown about for one of the teams. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And we're off. We've got Harley Rolf playing it through. Nice hold up play. Liam Rouse with the tackle. Nice safe possession in midfield. Falls loose. And the away team go away with it. Harley Rolf through the middle. Cody Curran picking up the ball, plays it out wide. Nice through ball. Have they got runners in front? Takes it down to the far side. Broken up. And we have a throw in it to the away team. We've got a breakaway here, Mark. Oh, we're through. The away team out on the left hand side. Holds up the ball. Needs runners. Oh, great turn, he's entering the box now. Great ball across. Oh, it flashes across the front of the goal and the home team get away with it. And loose ball. Cameron Wall comes away with it. Good attacking play down the right hand side. All the home team are away. Here we go. Oh, loose touch. Can Max Roberts get onto it? No. Takes it into the box. One touch. Booby, great tackle. Callum Forster there with the big legs to block the tackle that was a goal winning clearance yeah. uh, Will if he Lee, Lee Booth five, if he was 6 foot 4 that was probably him Lee Booth looked, uh, looked to have scored uh, but uh, the big man was able to get the block in here we go oh what a turn it's Dennis Bergkamp-esque what a strike it's the post and Aaron Rowe with the great save to get it away clawed it oh it's loose in midfield home team are away with it it's a great searching ball. Is he in behind? Lee Booth. Oh, he's got the option to cut it across. He's just he, dragged it wide. Two minds almost, Will. I think he's got to cut it across there. Easy tap in at the back stick. Cody Curran with a lovely ball in behind. That's nice. Look at the gaps here that are emerging. Max Roberts comes to cover. Great header. Oh, again, just flashes wide. Set you off on the right turn. Was it the early goal? Was it... The warm up, what, what do you think set up such a, a great first half really? Which, hold on, we've got a chance here, Mark. Oh, yeah, but. And the away team just clear it. Sorry, Craig. Yeah, so what sort of set you off for that great performance today? I think from the off, I mean, even in the change room, I was, you know, I was, to the boys, I was saying, look, this is our stadium, this is our pitch, you know, although it's, you know, it's a, a good event, you know, we want to win, we want to be competitive, and I think that mentality crossed over onto onto the pitch after they crossed over the white line and and again like you said will that early goal kind of really made a difference yeah mason was uh, on fire that first 10 minutes maybe could have had a hat trick rio obviously set him up for that later on in the game but oh we've got a goal here what a finish you know done by chance it's done from groundwork and your analysis sessions on Monday nights and watching videos and on, putting on, things in the pack. Oh, could have a goal here. Big save from uh, Aaron Rowe. It's cleared. Just out to the right hand side. Can't great, it back. great save. Yeah, strong hands into the right areas, but they've still got possession for the away team. Finds a searching ball out to the left hand side. Touch from Harvey Rowe for his right foot. Can he swing it? He had a go. Easily claimed by Aaron Rowe. It is still the home team which lead and they've got a corner here. Swings it in. Van Rowe gets a touch. Is it cleared? No. Blocked from the away team. It's still in the area. They get hold of it. Oh, slight slip on the wet surface. And they retain possession with Liam Rouse. We talked a bit about the fact that it's really a... It's a oh, here we've got a goal here. We've got a chance. Like oh, we've got an offside. I'm sure he's got a keen eye on some of these players here after after coaching the second team. So 
so well this year. We've got Nathan Foley up in the, the gantry. Nath, welcome. Hi guys, how are you doing? You good? And Dave, yeah, and Dave, we're, um, oh, has it just seen Lee Bruce just whistle one over the keeper's left hand side? I'm kind of going away over the summer, and, and as we see between year 12 and 13, Tyler, hold on there is the some. In here with his left foot, slides oh. it, oh, hits the post. Fantastic opportunity. There is some, there is some uh, mental maturation that, that goes on uh, naturally, and you find that they come into year 13 with, with a lot um, more focused heads, and, and it's good to has a good impact on the first years coming through the year 12 so no I'm looking forward to uh, to seeing the guys today and and how they how they get involved on on a pitch of such quality yeah, yeah that's really uh, interesting to see someone who comes in maybe lacking in confidence by the end of the second year he's captaining teams I've seen him coaching and he's really sort of improved not only in the classroom but on the pitch and hopefully next year we can see him Continue that progression with coaching. Well done, we've got a chance here. Harley Rolf in the box, and Aaron Rowe gets to say good hands there from the keeper. Been informed by Chris, yep, 24 minutes. What a fantastic job he's done uh, videoing these three games and throughout the season yeah, as the, really the head of analysis. Hold on, we've got a chance in. He's in behind. Oh, and just trickled into Ryan Rowe's hand. A massive chance for the home team to take it to 2 0. Yeah, well, I think sometimes when there's an injury and a team's got momentum and a bit of uh, being on top, sometimes an injury can slow yeah, that down. Hold on, Lee Booth in, takes a strike, and it's oh, around the bottom corner. Great finish, side-footed into the right-hand side of Ryan Rowe's goal, 2-0 to Kyle Croft's red and white army. And then keep it in. Yes, he takes on his man, cuts inside. Can he swing it? Retains possession inside, shots away, blocked, and Callum Forster's up there to retain possession. Can he dig it out? He cuts inside, cuts inside again, wriggles his way into the box. Has it gone out? Ben Thompson says yes, it's a goal kick to the home side. Ethan McGee just cut inside on the right hand side and he looked like he was about to just unleash that left foot. And he did, he did a bit of a ready lefty. Yeah. Um, been working hard in the gym, and you can you can see some of that uh, on the pitch today with uh, their running and, and strength on the ball. So, yeah, been here for five years now. Oh, hold on, we got a chance here. Lee Booth stumbles his way from the box. <laughs> he does again. Great finish, and that makes it three 0 to the home side. Here he is, searching for the next pass. Here he goes, puts inside. Can he unleash a shot? Goes with the outside of the foot. Ryan Rowe gets down, and it just squirms away for a corner ball. Love that in the development games this year which have really impressed me. One standout again we've talked about him so far, Liam Wood, I can remember it, on the, the Astro with the outside of his foot he found the top corner and I believe he got a brace that day. Here Incredible. he is on the ball actually, cuts inside, right foot, he finds a pass, edge of the box, it's a bundle, he's game possession, James Carr with the tackle, the yes. team come away with it, edge of the box, can they find a gap, it's very congested in there. It's a sliding tackle from Cody Curran. Shots away. Great. Oh, Ethan McGee did incredibly well there. One-handed Aaron Rowe, top corner. Good defending. That Thomas Lindy holding it up well. Yeah. Oh, oh, skill edge in the village. And he cuts it inside. Can he get the strike off? He's inside the six. And Ryan Rowe comes away with it. Great opportunity there from the opposition's attacking corner. Breakaway, Leicester City style. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been encouraging the last ten minutes from the away side. More of the ball, a couple of chances, like we've just seen there. Potentially balls over the top could be the uh, the plan moving forward. Just as half time whistle goes, will three 0 to the home team, if my maths is correct. It is, mate. Sets it up nicely for the second half. Every chance and possibility. The away team can get back into this. Yeah, there's been encouraging signs there late on in the half, um, but good, good defensively, and obviously the great save from Aaron Rowe there, which, which keeps the score at three now. Absolutely, absolutely. Will, we'll be back after, after the break for the second half. We're underway for the second half. The away side have it all to do here. I'm joined by my co-commentator for the second half, it's Nathan Foley. Be here and taking over the mic for this second half of the college development game. Thank you very much for having me. No problem. What are your thoughts for the second half? 
Dave. Oh, we might have a chance here. Oh my goodness, Aaron Rose lost it and he's a tap in for the away side. The perfect response. It is what can only be maybe described as a Robbie Howler from the keeper. Henshaw over the ball. With an offensive player in there. Bodies in the box, who can he pick out? Might have overcooked that slightly. Oh, unlucky. And it's gone for a goal kick. Goes down the line. <coughs> a little flick on it, breaks into the centre of the pit. And all the plays over the top. Cameron Roberts. Cameron Roberts looking to latch onto that now when Cameron started. Tries to pick out in the middle, hits the post, comes back to Cameron, and it's broken. When Cameron started with us, he, he had suffered a broken leg, so he spent the first few months of, of college within a pot. But since he's worked his way back to fitness, he's he's played both in the second team and with the developments. And Red and White's retained possession. Edison looks to play a ball in to Cameron Roberts. Gets a touch. What a save that is from Ryan Roberts. Well. Can we just rewind, rewind from the save, although it was a fantastic save, can we just talk about the quality of ball that was played in there by Kieran Edson and for Cameron Roberts to then catch it on the full was absolutely phenomenal, but it was topped off with a miraculous and marvellous save from Ryan Rowe. For me, it's just gone away for a throw-in. There seems to be an increasing intensity here, Nath. I think the away side sense that something could happen here. Oh, absolutely. And then Rook puts inside, takes the strike, and it flashes across Aaron Rowe's goal. I think he had that one covered. Lovely play inside. Finds a striker. Ball out wide. Has it gone too far? He finds the cross, cuts it back. There's an opportunity here for a strike, and cleared away. Well by cleared. Oh my the referee is given a penalty here. I am not quite sure what. Well, four from from our vantage point, but the referee seems to be causing a bit of a storm. This could certainly change the game upside down. Um, I believe there's a big call for Liam Wood to take this penalty um, and sign off from his from his college career with. Here we go. Yeah, the number nine. Yeah, number nine has the ball. I didn't see it this is a big moment. All the students really, really want to see this come off. Um, nice composure from from Liam here, uh, and we hope. He strikes Brilliant goal, great strike, and a lovely field off celebration. He finds the corner, and Rowe gets a And that really, really changes this game. Three two, Liam Wood from the penalty spot with with time to go here. This could easily um, go to penalties. Really is the game of two halves. For example, we've got strikers now tracking back, forming that first line of defence. Here we go. Oh, oh, the back there. The ref says we that is a very questionable shove in the back. It looked one like one from up here, but who are we to argue with a very experienced referee yeah. in Ben Thompson? Kieran Edgerton has latched the onto this. Edge of the box. Looks at Dinky. Oh, oh and it hits the crossbar. You shall not pass. But he's lost possession in the centre of the pitch. No foul, says Ben Thompson. Play on. Great ball. They're in behind here. Oh my god, the cutback's on. Here we go. Touch from Liam Wood. Can he finish? Oh my what god. a fantastic oh save. Oh my god. Mitchell Wilson's there. Second. What a finish this game, Nathan! That is absolutely phenomenal! The highs and lows of football! And then he follows it up with the rebound. We're in for a barnstormer here, 3 all. Cameron Roberts is Great touch. about to go in. Tries to take on his namesake, Matt Roberts. Breaks the edge of the box. Tyler on the left foot, swings it. And it's just not enough curl on it. I believe this could go to penalties. I think it's a straight penalty shootout, Nathan, if it stays there, it is. I think that will be full of elation for for one team, obviously, but um, it would be a great experience for, for the gents. Uh, and it has, that is go. full time. We've already seen penalties, we go. penalty here today. Liam will find in the net. Who will have... This is where the managers have to make some crucial decisions here on on just what's right, and, and it goes down to how well they know their team, I think. Yeah. 
Is that Matty Thompson stepping up, stepping up first, Nate? Absolutely is. Matty Thompson, like second on, second team experience throughout the year as well. Go, up. Nice, slowed down. Oh, Brilliant. Found the ball corner. Aaron Rowe got a hand to it. Did guess the right direction there as well. But as you say, bottom corners, Nathan. He went for it and he found it. The wayside had the advantage. Increase the travel time of that football. Sorry, increase the time it has to take the keeper to get down to it. Here we go, the home side. Aiden right, Oliver up to take first. Strikes it. It's Brilliant a penalty. penalty. Beautiful penalty. Finds that bottom corner. Sends Aaron, uh, Ryan Rowe the wrong way. And clearly his goal scoring has given him the confidence to, to step up to the spot again. Yeah. Um, Liam Wood second up. One all on penalties. Here we have Liam Wood. Rest ready. Edge of the box. Run up. Side foot, it Again, brilliant penalty, no chance there, left the keeper standing. Yeah, runs away with <coughs> one arm in the air. Alan Shearer esque, I would say. Yeah, great day and a round off uh, the college experience for Liam Wood. Home side look to get back on level terms. We've got Cody Curran here. I think he's going to strike it with his right foot. Again, oh. brilliant penalty. These bottom corners seem to be a a player favourite today. Yeah, a little stutter in his run up, sees the keeper go and he drops it in the other side. We're on level terms. Harvey Rolf. Alex for power. Oh, he's Harvey Rolf through. straight down the middle and it has gone over the bar. Aaron Rowe gets his foot to it. It clips up just over the bar. I don't know if there was a bit of a, a stumble there in, in Harley's run up and he's caught a bit of the floor when he's made contact yeah. with the ball. Home side. And oh, he hits it low. I thought Ryan might have got a, a touch on that. I he believe he did. Two and two is the call from Kyle Croft. Can he make that happen? Is that Taylor Watson Fisher? Absolutely. And Rowe looks pumped for this one. He steps up. It's a great Brilliant penalty. penalty. Solid side foot. Aaron elected to stand in the middle. Kenzie Messon stepping up here. Everyone knows Kenzie Messon throughout the season at college has scored some absolute thunderbolts uh, and screamers. So Here we go. Steps up. Oh, he Nicely found, found the corner there. This is Ethan McGee stepping up now. Ethan again is another second year, being an integral part of the second team squad and has had first team experience. Yeah, if he misses here, Nate, I think it's all over. Left footed. Finds the bottom. Brilliant penalty. penalty. Is this the fifth penalty? This is it. This is it. It's all down on John Cullingworth's shoulders, I believe. Four to seal it. <laughs> Left footed. Brilliant hey. penalty, and that seals it, and the development Reds have won the game. Absolute jubilations down at the bottom of the pitch. Yeah, Kyle Croft will be very happy with his players today. Brilliant. Obviously, and nice to time. see. Nice. Go on, sorry, my friend. And nice to see uh, Kyle and the opposing manager Courtney having having that time together there. Yeah, the home side. It literally was a game of two halves. Three 0 up. They've uh, been disappointed to see themselves pegged back to three all, but finishing on a penalty shootout is a great way to. Win the Absolutely, game. and it rounds off a great day of football. Um, and as from us up in the gantry, I believe that's that's kind of good afternoon and farewell from us here as we sign off on what, as I say, has been a successful Varsity 2022. Yeah, thanks very much, everybody. See you soon.